It is. Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another Battle Report. Today we're playing 40k. A three-way, special three-way that uh, Mike, who's behind the camera, has designed. And he'll explain the rules in a minute. I'll just sort of give you an intro quickly. Uh, we've got John here with us. He's playing Space Marines. Hello. I'm doing Imperial Guard. And Michael's doing... I'm doing mainly Skitari, but I'm led by an Inquisitor. They look very much like Blood else. Angels. They're red, as always. <laughs> Jason has this thing that all of my armies are just red. And to be fair, he's, he's not wrong. All right, so Michael's going to go over the, the scenario we're playing and the rules. And uh, then we'll get back to the with the armies. Okay, so today we are playing STC Grab, I think it's called. Is that what I called it, John? That's close enough. Excellent. So we have in the centre of this board an old ruined bunker. Uh, inside here there is a console which has access to various data stored STC constructs. Uh, so we have obviously come to this planet to secure these. As you can see, John has set up a beautiful ruined table. Uh, loads of ruins, loads of nice vegetation, looks pretty good. We've got a nice, is this a Eurogamer game map? Uh, Gamemap.eu. Game map. GameMap.eu, really nice game map. And the ruins map. as well. And the ruins are from there also, and they're really good value as well. Like 100 I'll, euros for I'll try and put a link ones below on the table. in the yeah, show notes. Really good. Um, so, rules of the mission. Uh, we basically have to break in here. At the end of a model's movement phase, it can attempt to tap into this console at the back, and it gains itself an STC construct on a hard drive. You can see we have these cool little hard drive markers here. Uh, so when we do that we pick up one, you can only do it once per turn, so in your movement phase only one of your models can do it if it's in base contact, can't do it if it's in combat. Uh, so you'll have various models holding these, you can only ever have one in a unit. At the end of the game, for each model you have that's holding one of those, uh, you get three victory points. If you've managed to get a model holding one of those back to your deployment zone, you get another victory point, always useful. And there are three special ones which we can pick up by rolling a six when interacting with the console. They do various different things. We have a, I'll show you these because John's gone to the trouble of making them and they're really cool. I hope this one picks up on the camera. It's a little hologram of a space marine. There we go, <laughs> picked up perfectly. Uh, we also have John's down no here friends. a red spray can <laughs> and we have a little um, box holding a vortex grenade. They have little effects. The vortex grenade you can use, the armor one makes you have a better armor save, and the red spray, uh, red spray can is an orc artifact that you spray your arm with and then you get to move faster. Uh, so other stuff involved, there is a kill point mechanic, which is how we help balance a free player mission. Uh, so at the end of the game, you get a victory point for every unit that you have destroyed the majority of that has been destroyed. So say we'll take one of Jason's squads over there. I kill six of the dudes in it. John kills four of the dudes in it. I get the victory point for it, not John. So it helps balance the game because if I've killed those six, John won't want to fire at the remaining four, meaning that a player who's not doing as well as the other two is unlikely to be picked on by both players. Um, we've used it in multiple missions and it seems to help quite a lot. Uh, so that's the only other way of getting victory points along with Slay the Warlord. There's no line breaker and no first blood in this. Uh, setup is really weird, I won't go into it, but basically we'll be on three edges of the map um, at certain distances apart. We won't be closer than 24 inches, uh, but we get to pick kind of like exactly where on table edges we go, and there's a little flow chart thing to follow. Okay, you'll see when we set up. Right, guys, so this is my army. We're doing 1,000 points. My army is led by Lord Commissar Ganja, and uh, <laughs> he's got one, two... Three infantry squads, all kitted out the same, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, uh, that's it. <laughs> and then I've got one veteran squad, uh, they have three melter guns, and I have a platoon command with three plasma guns, I have one hellhound tank, and then down here, where the big boys are, I've got one Kazakhin squad, and one stormtrooper squad, they're basically the same thing, and one armored sentinel squad with three las cannons, that's no, he's bought loads of vehicles. Uh, that's my thousand points. I've gone for boots on the ground, all painted. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your ugliness, Jace? Where are they? <laughs> I can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my thousand points. Let's go see what John's got. Okay, so this is the small ultramarine force that's going to be on the planet today. Uh, got a captain there, Captain Ardias. He's got the shield eternal, so he's. Hopefully not gonna. What kind of bloody cheese is John bringing? <laughs> He's hopefully not gonna be taken out pretty sharpish. Two Terminator squads, uh, one with a salt cannon, two chain fists, sergeant. Another one with a cyclone, two chain fists, sergeant. Two tack squads, 
both the same. I tell a lie, one's slightly different. Uh, one's got a teleport homer, the other does not. The one with the teleport homer is in a drop pod. The one that is not is in a rhino. Uh, both have missile launchers and flamers. They're not veteran sergeants, they're just standard sergeants. Their drop pod seems to be going the wrong way. It's, it's about to take off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, let's see why um, Michael has got Go, okay, so as usual, I am bringing an eclectic mix of Imperial forces today, but we are led by Lord Inquisitor Damgrad down here. Uh, he's a Malleus Inquisitor, he's in Terminator armor, he's got a Psy Cannon, um, he's a Mastery Level 1 Psyker, and he has the Liber Hereticus, the main use of which is to give his unit Scout Turn 1 if I can pass a leadership check. He has his retinue of people with him. He has two crusaders who are on with power swords and storm shields. He has two death cult assassins. Oh, that is cheap! Who are pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, and then he has five acolytes at the back there, two of them are on with melter guns, and he has one sanctioned psycho with him as well. Uh, he has requisitioned from the Mechanicum a selection of forces to help him reclaim the STC constructs. Um, there was a slight misstep in communications and the uh, requisitions officer thought that they should all be painted in red camouflage for this mission, hence that's why they're painted as they are. It's a fully done paint job, it just happens to be bright red. <laughs> so we I'm have Mars. <laughs> we have the special formation that comes in the Start Collecting Skatari box, because um, that lets me take a Tech Priest Dominus, and usually the Skatari don't have any HQ choices and I wanted to use this big sweet model here. So we've got that, it consists of him, a unit of Skitari Rangers uh, who basically have sniperish rifles and an Onager Doom Crawler which has this giant Strength 10 macro cannon thing mounted on the side of it, it's pretty nice. And then I have a standard CAD of Skitari. We have one squad here of Vanguard. Uh, they're fully kitted out. They have three arc blasters. Uh, the sergeant guy has an arc pistol and they've also got an ominous specs to cut through enemy cover. And then we have a five man unit of Vanguard as well with no upgrades at all. So they're all just using their standard rad carbines. And then at the back here, we have some Skitaran or Sikaran infiltrators. Uh, they're super fast. They get kind of like a basic nine inch move and nine inch charge. Um, and they've been upgraded with their special tuning fork uh, weapons to twat people with. Um, they get an extra two hits if you're on a six to hit in close combat. So they're quite nice and quite fast. Uh, but my entire army is toughness free and made of paper. So we like playing Imperial Guard, Jace. Yeah. Let's see how it does. Okay, before we start first turn, just show you deployments. Um, I think Mike lost the role, so he had to choose last but well, deploy first. I, I had the last choice. You forced me to deploy first, but I got last choice of zone, so I'm not really near the center of the board. So that's Mike's deployment around there. Jason has taken the end of the board, hoping that John and I, being forced to the other end, will be... Actually, I took this end of the board so I don't have to move around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you're not stuck over there and you're not stuck in here. Yeah, that's right. John I've got... cunningly taken the end of the board where he's closest to the real centre. I've got the freedom of easy access to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that's what John's deployment is. When Jason has easy access to the toilet, I don't want to go. <laughs> okay, so this is my deployment. I've literally, I've, I don't think any of them have got any real template weapons. I've deployed my entire army in, out, John. into my 24... Or 12 inch bubble with 24 inches. So I've got infantry squads down there, veterans, platoon command, armored sentinels, more infantry squads, flamethrower tank, stormtroopers, Kazakhin. That's my entire deployment right here in this corner. I've got a bit of a, a trek to get to the entrance of the facility, which is down there. Uh, but maybe things will go in my favor and these two will kill each other and then I can just get <laughs> loot, loot their corpses. That is tactics from Jason's yeah. point of view. <laughs> this is John's deployment. He's got a rhino over here and some terminators already deployed into the ruins over there. I may have neglected to say, if you don't want to deploy all your army, you have to deploy a portion of it, but you can have it roll on turn one from your table edge if you wish, just because in a free player game, you often have a a quite a sizable army that doesn't really fit into deployments, and you can see both Jason and I are quite tightly packed in. Tightly if we packed. Three, two, it's a bit cramped. Up. <laughs> yeah, your I don't five even... <laughs> terminators and a rhino. I'm so tightly packed. I don't even think I could put a terminator infiltrator in yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Okay, so um, Wrong that's terminator, our terminator, by the way. <laughs> yeah. that's our deployments. Uh, now we're ready to go first. So I believe. John, are you first? Part? No, I'm no right. I have to go first. Oh yeah, you going first, then John second, and then me third. I'm gonna roll for my tomb of somebody around and see if I get to scout. Uh, so we're gonna come back after 
Should we do it after everyone's had a turn, or...? Yeah, do it after yeah. everyone's had a turn. Yeah, alright. So we had an awful lot, weren't there? Yeah, so we we'll do it... a round table discussion of what happened. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> right, so this is the end of round one. So we've all had one go. It started off with Mike getting first turn. He got... We rolled some uh, general war traits and things like that. Mike got, of course, scout and orbital bombardment. I had scout from just normal rules of my oh. army. I got Orbital Bombardment as a Warlord tray, and what did it do? It killed one bloody Sentinel. And three infantry, right? Oh, we'll, yeah, my heart bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get seven back. seven points. Bro. We'll get that to that in a second. So, uh, what did you do, Mike? Uh, so, I basically scouted forward with my forces. Uh, these guys are super fast, so I got them right into the centre. They couldn't quite get to the door and open it to be able to move in and capture something this turn, uh, but hopefully they're going to do that now. Um, so, then the Inquisitor and his squad moved up around the top, uh, with a subsidiary little squad going with them. These guys have got the sniper rifles moved up into a bit of cover. This big squad moved down here hoping to get their arc rifles in range of your tank here, but failed to do so. And I fired off uh, my Onager Doom Dune Crawler, fired at your Hellhound as well, because I'm quite worried about that. It's a big template weapon, uh, but again, failed to do anything. My orbital bombardment went off, hit um, your Sentinels, took one out and killed some Two dudes. Imperial Guardsmen and one Kazakin. So not a brilliant turn for me. Then moved on to John. Right, stuff happened. John's turn. He brought down the Fury. Yeah, boom. It's the name of the drop pod. Decisions. Yeah. Decisions. What to do? I thought I'd put it there because it should, in theory, hinder Michael's movement into getting into the facility. Yeah, yeah. But it also gave me an opportunity to just get some boots on the ground and guns in. Um, I've used. What did I do? I combat squatted uh, squad Quintus, as they are called, out the drop pod with the heavy weapon and four marines going out that side there, and the sergeant taking the flamer and three marines with him into the facility. They fired upon the Skatari dune running wall creeping. We got freaks. these nice little templates to show where people were. So yeah. Two of my dudes there, which was nasty. I had some pretty shocking rolls. Um, I killed, what, three? I killed one of your assassins and two guardsmen. One of the metal guns almost Killing, got it. I've only got two assassins in. That makes them a lot worse versus space marines than they were. Well, yeah, you still got your metal guns, though, so that's going to do some damage. Yep. Um, squad Remus here with Captain Ardeus just moved up. Managed to get a single shot. I say single shot, a single Terminator that could actually shoot in. Um, but he finished one off yeah, as well. Yeah, he he did all right. Though. That's the cyclone, and that's it. Rhino moved up and he was parking, reversing. And yeah, and now I'm going to get beaten up. And then, Jason had a go. That's right, I, I wouldn't say a go, as more of just uh, moving around. <laughs> uh, my turn, I literally just run everything forward. So everything of my guardsmen took um, positions in this ruins. They all ran into positions. These guys ran out to this flank. These guys ran out to this flank. The Hellhound moved up there. Scout uh, Armored Sentinels moved over there. Got a bead on um, Michael's Lord over there. Fired two last cannons. One hit. Creamed off her arm. So he took a wound from that. Well, actually, he might not have taken a wound from that. Was it a flaming cannon that he took a wound from? Take a wound from the flaming cannon, yeah. yeah. And he then, killed a dude oh. behind him with the last cannon because I looked out, sir. That's right. So one casualty from that squad and his dude took a wound. And that's pretty much it for my turn. I uh, fired a rocket launcher at John's drop pod, hoping to get a, maybe a cheeky victory point. It, it didn't work, and nope. that is the end of my turn. So you can give you a little eye view of what I'm looking at. My guardsmen scattered out. It was just total luck that he freaking drew his... Um, I was thinking, oh, great. I had all that stuff packed in here. A big orbital bombardment came down, and I was like, well, there's going to be a lot of dead guardsmen <laughs> at the end of this turn. But I was hoping. Lucked out. I lucked out, yeah. Just lost the Sentinel and then those guys. There we go. So that's what it looks like at the end of round one. Now we shall go to round two. Now the pain. We need to get in there. Go on, Mike. Okay, victory for the Skatari coming right up. Right, so this is round two. Uh, I didn't actually know what happened because I didn't take part much in this turn. <laughs> did you uh, really? You were playing on your phone, weren't you? Yeah, Michael, I, I posted <laughs> up a picture. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, put it, you tell us what happened in your turn. Okay, so my turn wasn't too bad. Sorry about the camera wobble there. So starting off down here, this drop pod had a teleport home on it, so I really didn't want John to be able to bring his Terminators down on top of that drop pod right in the centre of my area. So that was priority number one. Uh, so 
over here, started out by casting Psychic Powers. I only got one power dice extra this turn. I'd intended to Psychic Shriek the um, squad here, which you can see their little tokens on the floor now, uh, but failed to cast the power on my free dice. So I had to slightly change plans. Uh, I had to leave the Hellhound over there alone. It was immobilized from last turn. Oh no, I immobilized it this turn. First thing I did was immobilize it with one shot from this big guy. I'd arranged these guys so they could fire their arc cannons over at it, um, but decided because it was immobilized it couldn't really threaten me too badly, so they turned their arc um, rifles over onto the drop pod, managed to wipe it out in a volley of fire. Uh, so that is now wreck. All of the squads around here, so squad of vanguard, squad of rangers, and the inquisitor's retinue, fired into space marines, did nothing, but then we charged him with the inquisitor, him plus his death cult assassin, plus the fact that the whole squad were being affected by the neurostatic aura from the Sikaran infiltrators over here, giving them minus one initiative and weapon skill, uh, meant that I wiped them out to a man. Speaking of the neurostatic aura, these guys in here, there's only one of them left unfortunately, but John will get around to that. Uh, they managed to string out on their turn and got one guy in contact with the console over there. Jeez. And he downloaded a standard STC. Uh, but because they were on quite large bases, I managed to string the squad out to back here and then they charged into these space marines. These guys have four attacks on the charge and every time they're on a six to hit, they get an extra two attacks. My sergeant alone did nine hits in a challenge on John's sergeant. So I rolled pretty well. Wiped out all five Space Marines and then consolidated out a tiny bit more. Hence all the yellow silhouettes. That's why there are loads of yellow silhouettes down there. Loads of Space Marines. All of those died and their drop pod died. So good turn in that regard. And I've got three of the kill points uh, for victory points in the game. So then we'll see what John did on his turn. Let's see if I can wobble the camera slightly less. Wobble, wobble, wobble. There's a lovely picture of Jason to tide Yay. you over. You could have paused it. I could have paused it, but that seems far too much effort. Obviously, that was a terrible, terrible thing to happen. The loss of ten heroic the loss servants of, of the Emperor. Ten heroic. Let's get and Michael's space chin space. in as well. My chin. I'll, I'll just uh, luckily yeah. I shaved. This That's morning lovely. On occasion. Um, I rolled my reserves and got another squad of Terminators in. Squad Gaius. Uh, they teleported down just behind the Rhino. Uh, it didn't scatter because teleport home was on the board. In the Rhino. I'm sure that works. Anyways. It doesn't when the new FAQ comes in. Oh, boo. Um, so they came in. They sort of just ran in. They're going to try and get some STCs. Uh, this squad moved up just to get a line of fire onto the, whatever they're called, Rust Stalkers. Or infiltrators. Infiltrators. Um, and killed two of their number, which is nice. Really? Killed three of their number, yeah. which is nice, but it's not enough. They've still got the sergeant... Who is fearless due to his relic. Who is fearless with the relic. And the STC is just on the floor. And yeah, obviously it's his turn first. Move so. an inch forward, grab it, and then sprint That's away at full speed. Um, so not a lot really, other than losing 200 points of Marines. And then there's this annoying thing coming up on the flank here. Jason? Which, Jason, Jason yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is Jason, who's just We've sort of... We've done exactly as he predicted. We've ignored him. Yep. Well, yeah, no we kind of thought about it. Turn. I took an immobilised uh, Oh yeah, my heart bleeds. <laughs> In fact, we just rounded up Jason's turn because that's all he did. He moved. Yeah. What do you mean he killed two of my dudes? Yeah, but they don't count, do they? What do you mean? They were heroic Anything stars. else to add to that, Jason? No, that's pretty much it. You're everything pretty... else of mine moved forward, ran uh, down the flanks. I've got no transport vehicles, so everything is moving on foot. As you can see, I've got all my... I might have made a mistake by clumping all those dudes together as I just remembered that thing. I'm really gonna... hoping to blow up your tank. <laughs> <laughs> and my command squad and the Sentinels are moving over here. I fired everything I had against John, uh, Michael's Lord. Um, this guy. Yeah. You know, he is unharmed. And he regenerated the wound I did last turn. He did. He can repair himself because he is a master of the Mechanicum. So I tried to instant death him, but nope, it didn't work. So that's my turn done. Boom. So what's the scores at the end of turn round? So I am the only one with points. I have three kill points because I killed both of John's combat squads and his drop pod. And I have three points. Oh no, I don't have the three points because I've dropped the relic thing, but I'm going to pick it up, the STC. So, but I'm on three points at the moment. Nobody else has killed any whole units as yet. So I suspect that will change. Just wait. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go to round three. Right, folks, this is round three. And uh, the carnage continues. And... Death comes to all those who enter the war. Go on then, Michael. Okay, so my turn. Wow, what happened on my turn is a little while ago now. So down here, we'll ignore the fact that there's a load of dead bodies here. Jason will get to that. So no, I John have will my, get to that. John will get to yeah. that even. I have my tech priest dominus down here with his squad. So again, I fired a big spider walker over at Jason's flame tank. Really trying to kill it. 
Jason made his cover save, unfortunately, uh, but my two Cognis Heavy Stubbers took out a couple of Jason's veterans. Jason had the veterans there and they had a couple of melter guns left. Stormtroopers. Uh, Stormtroopers. Um, so I had to kill him because I had my Tech Priest Dominus at the front. I didn't want him to take an instant death wound. Um, so his squad opened fire with everything they had. I gave every, all Skitari weapon skill, ballistic skill even, uh, oh, God, seven really. this turn, which means I really didn't miss much. Um, I shot the whole of Jason's squad off the board, so you can see there. Charred that guy, remains there. That, that guy, guy ran away. Tried to run. Um, <laughs> then over this side, um, we tried to psychic shriek into John's Terminators, which are a bit further back than they are now. Unfortunately, um, he's got the shield eternal in there, which lets him deny the witch a bit better, and he managed to deny my powers. Um, so then I fired a little bit more. I fired my side cannon and a single melter gun, but didn't get any uh, damage through. Uh, but then I fired these five um, Vanguard over here at them uh, with their weight of fire. They managed to bring down two of the hulking monstrosities. Four of them were sixes as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, loads crazy. of them. Crazy. Uh, so weaken those terminators a little bit, but John, as you can see, and he'll tell you on his turn, is moving into the game. Uh, that was all I managed to do on my turn. And this guy here, you can see he has a relic tucked between his legs, an SDC... Um, STD. An STC. Yeah, we can get this one. <laughs> a hard drive with some plans yeah. for a prototype Land Raider on it or something. <laughs> and he is sprinting with his gen-enhanced mechanical legs as fast as he can go. His plan is to go and hide behind this bit of stonework here, well out of the way of everything's fire. So I'm controlling that hard drive at the end of the game for three victory points. Okay, let's see what John's going to do. Do you want another lovely picture of Jason as I'm passing it over? Do, 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 there he is in all his glory. Do, 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 are enjoying do, 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 it, Nick? Do, do, do. And there is glory. <laughs> there is glory. So my turn, there wasn't a lot to do because I've gone really beardy and got very few models. Oh, this is pure cheese of the Terminator there's army. Absolute cheese. The Rhino turned to face against these little grunt things that are coming up against they're, them. They're called humans, John. Oh, humans, yeah. We were one once. Um, got a couple of shots out the top hatch. Took out a couple of humans. And that was it. But he's, he's proper coming in now. He'll show you that in a minute. Anyways, what did I do? I moved the unit that was under fire into the zone mortalis. And I moved the second squad that came down last turn. And they've moved in and secured themselves at... Uh, a standard template construction doodad, which is cool. So that should give me three points. Um, and then I fired. I fired through at those red tiny blobs there. Tiny gaps here. So this, enough. <laughs> this unit had the best view um, and got a couple of wounds. How did I kill the Dominus again? Dominus. Oh, uh, no, that was from the crack missile. That was from the crack missile. You said... Uh, crack missile in. You're taking out the two dudes I've put in front of him with your storm bolts. That's correct. Crack went in, I said, I'll oh, look out, sir, because it could instant death him. You said, it's okay, you roll a one. I roll a one. I said, it's okay, I've got a two-up save. You said, it's okay, you roll a one. I roll a one. <laughs> and off he went. <coughs> Which you point for John. Which is the irony. You, you yeah, were saying, you... no, I need to kill those guys because they're yeah, all going yeah. instant death. Check the corners, man. Check the corners. I that the corner of my yeah, eye. Exactly. Um, and then this unit, there was only a storm bolt around a, the assault cannon. Managed to get in a few more wounds, yeah. which was enough <coughs> to Took make you roll thing. an 11. I've got an 11. This guy's nearby, which gives them buffs to their leadership for passing morale checks if he's in six. But, but not up to 11. 11. Off they went. They're right near my table edge. They just fell back straight off the board. Another victory point to John. He four, four of four. the unit, and Jason had only killed three. So a wasted effort by Jason helping John to victory points. Ah, well, there you go. Um, and that was pretty much it. And Jason did some stuff. I think he ran a lot. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think he did what he did in turn so, one or two. So, <laughs> after the initial bursts, I mean, I lost a, a squad of uh, stormtroopers right there. I lost another Kazakin model over there. And I also lost two Impy Guard guys right over there. So you can see I'm taking casualties as I'm pushing forward. But, as you can see, my initial plan was to let them lock horns and then swoop uh, across the... We even knew you were going to do that. <laughs> yeah. We so I got my veterans here on John's left side of the board with uh, an infantry squad and my platoon command with the uh, Lord Commissar all on this side of the board. They're getting cover fire from the ineffectual rocket launcher from here. <laughs> <laughs> and because the rocket launchers are doing nothing, I decided to embark this one off their little ruins, run forward into the bushes to support this side. 
which is obviously taking a bigger battering. The Hellhound is not looking so special now as it's immobilized. Yeah, it's just and there. All my stuff in range has died. It's just there for moral support. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a heavy bolter, can't hurt anything that's there. Uh, so the two auto uh, the two last cannon armor sentinels and the Kazakhan are pushing through this corridor. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly because there's nothing to shoot at over here and I can't really hurt Terminators. You can, why you, you roll on the <laughs> You roll on the they're going down. And uh, he's got all his crap is right at the back there and I'm hoping him and John can continue <laughs> to batter each other and while I walk in. Yeah, walk in and steal what's left. Turn five. <laughs> So, this is what it looks like currently. I don't know what the scores are, but I'm pretty sure I'm on zero. The scores on the doors are, I have four kill points, and I'm holding one STC construct hard drive. John has two kill points, and he's got one hard drive, and it's looking likely he's going to get another next turn. Um, so, John is slightly in the lead if that comes to pass. You have... You have not that many kill points. <laughs> or or I'm not drive. looking that like you to get any hard drives. Unless you prize them out of our cold dead hands. <laughs> it's all part of the plan, man. Just wait yeah, to yeah. come to Wait till turn eight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on to round four we go. Alright folks. This is round four, I believe. Yeah, end of turn four. So what happened? As usual, we'll go off to the Skitari first. Get in there, they're looking more and more like the Inquisition and less like the Skatari every turn. So, what happened on my turn? Not a whole lot really. John's the main threat because he's got two of the STC um, Construct hard drives now. Uh, so I really wanted to hurt him, but because he had moved all his Terminators into the centre, and if I couldn't get in and charge or have a really good shooting phase against him, so just moving in there would have just caused me to be counter-assaulted and shot by the Terminators. So I decided discretion was the better part of Valor and ran away a little bit. This guy back here has my hard drive and he has properly run away. He is all the way at the back here and he's going to be hiding in that building very shortly. Uh, this squad here continue to trade fire. Well, not trade fire. They shoot and then they don't get shot back at by these guys down here. Um, I shot at them, killed a couple of them, but they made their leadership save. Uh, then over here, the Inquisition moved round, but the train, I didn't want to move through the train, so I moved round it so I didn't have to make the roll, uh, but it's still slowing me down, obviously. The Inquisitor at the front managed to get a side cannon in range of the back of a rhino and managed to plink a couple of hole points off it, but did nothing else. And these guys over here ran and got round to there. Uh, big Spider Walker made a massive shot over at the Sentinels, Clipped a sentinel, took a whole point off. Not what I was looking for. I think he killed one of the two. He there. killed a couple of the guardsmen dies as well in the blast and with their cogniz heavy stubbers. And that was my turn done. Here's John. With an interlude of... No, I'm going the other way around. Oh, this time. He gets a lovely me. Oh yeah, lucky with people. I'd probably with his... edit that. Well, yeah, <laughs> <the best. laughs> I'm going to crack the lens. Uh, a bit more of the same for me then. The Terminator squad's moving in uh, there. I did some funky move which was uh, downloaded to me via the uh, Admech force, that I made a line, passed the parcel to the captain, so he's got one of the uh, STCs, and then picked up a second STC yeah, so with the sergeant. Two of them. So two at the moment. Um, they didn't fire, they just sort of yeah. ran about now. I'm too scared to come out. The rhino that was, well, abruptly shot in the behind, which then shunted it forward, <laughs> and they disembarked. Now, well... Jason will tell you about that glory there. Um, and But I can tell you about this glory here. Blah, blah. Uh, I combat yeah. squatted them just to... I'm screaming into the microphone. Um, combat squatted them just to give away more points, really. But yeah, flamed. I think Jason's fired. response was... Oh fuck, is that a flame? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Realising here to raid his troops in teardrop yeah, formation. <laughs> <laughs> so he squished them, one dude survived, but he kind of, he had had enough. And that was it. Um, I did fire onto his command squad, as I thought that would be the softer target, and killed one. You picked a couple of wounds off the Commissar, but he just tanked it on yeah, his carapace armor, didn't he? he's pretty solid. He was like, and then round, Jason rounds. will tell you what he did in response. Jason actually shot stuff. He shot stuff. I did, yeah. Not only ran, running up fields. Unfortunately, it's all coming apart. Right, so this was terrible. Um, I, I, as soon as I saw that flamer, I was like, ah, oh, crap, there goes my left flank. Uh, and of course... One five-point special one. <laughs> yeah, there goes my entire left flank. Um, as that flamer is just going to mince through the rest of my army. But I did take out that um, 
one half of their squad with the missile launcher and what have you from these guys over there. First rank, second Brutal, rank. Yeah. Uh, but I was more impressed by this side, um, which ironically didn't score me any points like that side did. I got a point for wiping out the half of the command squad or platoon squad. Combat squad. Combat squad. Yeah, I'll get it eventually. Uh, over here, my sentinels yeah. moved forward and the Kazakhin moved into that shrubbery over there and fired on the Knight of Knee. Uh, meep, meep, the, meep. the sentinels, I think, got a penetrating hit through, but Dum Dum over there made they a six up save. They got a six up in Von Say, so I managed to make it against the penetrating hit from the Laz Cannon. But the plasma gun from there put a uh, wound through. You or... got another penetrating hit, which I saved again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then I only got one through there. And then my rocket launcher, I'm going to call him a rocket launcher from now. He can actually see through there. But... Another penetrating Got a penetrating hit, and that one... Save. You immobilized me. Yep, so he's got one whole point left. Yeah, and he can't move. And it just so happens he's also in range of the flamer. Yeah, which can do him. So he can glo I, I bet that kills him. Yeah, I can, I can so glance at the dead. He's going to fire the fucking flamethrower and he's going to melt my he spider needs tank. some revenge. So that's basically the state of my life. These guys are running up here. And uh, John is still camping in here. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to wipe out everything else around... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and John's just gonna hoover up all the stuff inside there. I'm not so sure. I'm running out of troops here. You got the victory points though. You can get three things in there. Uh, we'll see. And this is probably the last turn because I've got to get to the cinema. So there we go. That's round five. Oh, four. <laughs> four. <laughs> four done. Round right. five is afoot. And Michael, as usual, goes first. Okay, so my turn is pretty quick over here. I fired my nice spider tank over there. Firing at the Sentinels, scattered wildly off, did nothing. Uh, my Rangers moved up into rapid fire range of the Cataskin Stormtrooper veteran things. Uh, open fire on them, wiped all of them out. That was pretty useful, gave me another kill point. Over there, I'd really mismaneuvered these guys. As John had moved in, I was trying to move around to flank behind him, but it's taken me so long to get through the terrain that I couldn't get any shots onto the Terminators because he's moving away from me still. Uh, so I fired downrange and took out the Rhino for another victory point, and that was my turn done. Not brilliant. My turn. A bit more strategic maneuvering here. Once again, the squad is handing out STCs. Just <laughs> um, <laughs> sure not healthy, John. <laughs> um, uh, Three-man squad is here. They got handed one from the other sergeant. Um, Manoeuvred out so the assault cannon was on the front line there. And also, Captain Ardias has he moved round the corner with his STC and... He's trying to pass it on to me, but failing. trying to pass the STC on, but he's failing. Um, I think you killed two of me in combat. These guys manoeuvred. I yeah, I only killed leadership. two. Yeah, that would have been nice if I've killed more. Assault cannon fired across and took the remaining hull point off of the beastie over there. Now, I didn't get the victory point for that because Jason no, did more. You did hull one hull point, Jason had done two. But I just needed it rid because of the dirty strength 10 AP1, which was mostly going to get yeah. shot. So that's gone. Um, and what else did I do? I Check think out it was it. Sentinel, your cyclone. Oh yes, I did. Yeah, cyclone and a couple of stormbolt shots. Took out one of the sentinels. And that's it. And we're going to hopefully have another turn. Yep. Uh, but Jason, Jason had a turn. Jason's actually involved in the game he now. Is. He's, he's <laughs> running up field. Well, after losing another infantry squad to the flamer, you uh, thought maybe I should shoot that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but with my plasma gun squad, the infantry squad over there, and the infantry squad up here, all fired in there, causing three casualties, but more importantly, taking out the flamer. And the missile. missile. Well, the missile was from the other squad, yeah. Ah. So, But they passed the morale test, so there's no victory point for me as yet. Down here was a more sneaky little thing I did. My immobilized flamer fired through the uh, chapel's window into the thing over there, but... I, w I hit three of them, but no wounds, or no dies, or no deaths. God <laughs> damn it. it. Yeah. Uh, and my last cannon moved up and fired into there as well and rolled a one. So that was it for my turn. I didn't score any victory points on my turn, but I did score one victory point on John's turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the scores? So, scores on the door at the moment. I have six kill point victory points, plus I have one of the hard drives over here in my deployment zone. Give me an extra four, so put me on ten. John has four kill point victory points, but he has one, two, three of the hard drives as his Terminators have been handing them out like candy <laughs> outside of the school. 
So they were three each, giving John 13 victory points. Ooh, Jason like has two kill points, and, and that's about it. All right. So the game will end on a five or a six. It's not. One more turn going. All right. Let's see how we get on. We'll have to make it a quick one. I think that was your Okay, draw, so round five or six, six, or six is, is done. Last turn of the game. The I'm game is go. over. Uh, just do a quick end cap of what happened. Um, Michael just basically ran around, fired a few shots, tried I to jump. I attempted. I got within six of uh, John to charge in. If I could assault him, kill that squad and the thing they were carrying yeah, and pick it up. That would have changed. It would have been a six-point swing. Uh, but I failed this eight-inch charge because of the difficult terrain. I only got a six, so didn't quite make it and didn't do anything else on my turn. So how many points did you end on? I ended on ten points. Ten points? That's not Ooh, bad. So John, on his turn... Basically moved around, did nothing major. He nearly, he moved all his turns and nearly killed me. Left me with two Skatari alive in my squad. Yep. And over here he charged me in combat. I cut one <laughs> down with a las gun. Unreal. And then beat the other one up in combat. <laughs> you beat him to death with a <laughs> that's, rifle That's what pucks. you get, man. <laughs> I honestly thought that was another easy VP there, you know. Yeah, I thought, oh god, he's got another one. Squad. So uh, that earned me a victory point. How many did you end on, John? Uh, 15 for John, 15. and very healthy score. So, currently John's leading and Michael's in second place. Yeah. Can I overtake them with the massive amount of points I earned during yeah, my last turn? 15 for John. Jace, how many do you have? Uh, three. How many was that, sorry? Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unlucky, mate. Uh, close. <laughs> unlucky. But, I've got more figures than you alive. It is true, <laughs> I have not very many models left alive. <sighs> My turn was literally, I moved the plasma gunners up, fired on the terminators, did nothing. I ran in there to try and donkey kick John's Lord. <laughs> <laughs> thought he was a, a How titan. did that go? <laughs> 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 he he like, thought his titan. Is it strength D, five attack? No, no, no. Strength five, AP dash, one attack. <laughs> so there we go, that is, that is the end of the game. Quick thought, what did you guys think? What did you think, Mike? I enjoyed it. It was quite touch and go in the middle. I think John brought a really good army for it. You and I were a bit lacking in AP too, certainly in combat. I was um, lacking in just generally everything. Well, your plan of holding <laughs> back and moving late game wasn't a bad plan, I don't think. Because John and I did kick the shit out of each other. Yeah, quite a bit. But I just didn't have much to deal with John's Terminators, and I really misminded with my Inquisitor squad around the top there. I think your Inquisitor would have months. Yeah, he was he was good in combat versus them, and just couldn't make it in. Uh, John did the right thing, he took out my uh, infiltrators as soon as he could and losing my Dominus and his you know squad when I didn't think that? they were because in like, danger. I saw your battle report. And saw how many wounds they so got out. So I thought, right, then Team Clear is 40k. <laughs> but yeah, how John about you, John? Good army for that. I enjoyed it, because I won. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! That doesn't happen. What often. I don't like is that um, we made some special ones. It was a vortex grenade, potentially, and an armor thing, and a... All the time you spend making those yeah. little things. Oh, yeah, man. And all we got is the data slates. I don't even know if... And we couldn't bloody pick them we up. You can see that. I took a good picture earlier on. There we go. It's huh? a good it you. looks awesome. <laughs> effort. Yeah. For nothing. This is what you get when you play with John. He always puts in loads of effort it. and makes cool stuff. And then half of it doesn't get used. Yeah. Yeah, from my point, I thought it was quite fun. I mean, I'm terrible at this game, so... <laughs> <laughs> The more more I play, I suppose, in theory, I could get better. I generally but... think your weakness is target priority. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what should, I, what should I shoot out? That flamer dude, you can wipe me out. I think I'll leave him. <laughs> the one in front of me, it seems fun. <laughs> <laughs> seems realistic. Yeah. All right, so there we go. We've played our three-way game. Um, if you want to find out the rules, you can always check out Mike's website, uh, Mike's <laughs> Facebook page, uh, YouTube page. God damn it. Sort it out. Uh, Team Clueless 40k, I'll put a link below. He's got all the rules for his stuff, the, the games he comes up with for yep. 40k. Just message me if you want any of the rules of anything. We always play weird and wonderful missions. Well, weird. Mainly, mainly weird. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mainly weird. Uh, we went with them to um, Warhammer World recently, so you can go check out that video yeah, as well. Yeah, really good video for that one. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, guys. That was good fun. Cheers, mate. Bye. Thanks for the game. Yep. See you guys next time.